All right, folks, we're here with our Springfield Wildcats versus the Goshen Warriors for game four. First map for the day is Lotus. We have on our team Sleepy In, the Caribou, Nas, Shizuba, and KMM Lookout. So get ready for an exciting day, folks, for game four. The first match is on Lotus. So uh, remember, it's they're going to play two games, so they can either win both games or tie. 1-1 uh, one, one, or lose both games. Hopefully for our Springfield Wildcats, they will win both games. But here we go for game one at Lotus. All right, folks. Remember, here is the place where they pick their own characters. Each character, each agent for each person is specifically matched and has a specific class. So each team is trying to figure out which character goes with which and which one goes well with the team. So we got Sleepy being Raze, Caribou being Astra, Shu being Be Breach, KMM Lookout being Killjoy, and Nas being Sky. All right. So we have one duelist on the team, which is Raze. A duelist is usually a front runner who goes in, uses utility to take out um, the other agents on the other team very fast, very efficiently, while the others stay behind to use their utility. So we got 45 seconds till game one starts. Guys, get your snacks, get your drinks. Kick your feet up on the couch and get ready for game one. Springfield Wildcats versus the Goshen Warriors. Select your agent. All right, folks, here we go with game one. So I told you what the Springfield Wildcats are over on the left side. On the right side, we have the Goshen Warriors. J-Bug is Jet. Pixel is Omen. Cool is Cypher. Yuroski is Chamber, and looks like Corrupt is Breach. So they have one duelist as well, which is Jet, so this should be an interesting match. The first round is usually a pistol round. Um, Valorant is very similar to CSGO, where they have to buy their guns with a certain amount of money in the very beginning of each round. So the first round is usually a pistol round with a little bit of money. Which allows them to pick what kind of pistol they want, if they want shield, and what utility or abilities they want. Remember, each character at the bottom of your screen, bottom middle, is their four abilities. Each agent has their own specific abilities. Concealment. Careful there. So the Springfield Wildcats are slowly walking up to A. Taking their time. We don't have dog. Just stay quiet. Don't don't be don't be. Azai, yeah, go fight C. I heard one of your guys. Run, run, run. Don't, don't, don't be quiet Looks like uh, the Springfield Wildcats are staying quiet and outside on A, letting Zai make a lot of noise at C to draw all of them away. All right, looks like got their got their attention. There. All right, Springfield Wildcats are planning at A. Able to draw them back. Zai was able to take the hit, but it's okay. Plant is down. Sounds like someone is is coming up the back end. Sleepy was able to take out a bunch of people. Caribou able to take out Cypher right there. Easy kill. Come on. And the Wildcats were able to take that round. 1-0 Wildcats. Good teamwork by the Wildcats. <laughs> they think we wouldn't fight back? Now, Zai was able to uh, take the hit and be killed that round, so uh, the Wildcats are able to give some funds to him if need be. 
play some stars in this reality. Wildcats are throwing grenade at A. Raze is trying to uh, get some attention. Looks like Killjoy's uh, turn is at B. Turn is down at B. She was able to take out, so it's 4v3. Well, that's a four agents. Sleepy taking out two. Double kill. And the last go goes to Sleepy. Wildcats take the lead 2 0. Goshen seems to have a. Uh, have a way of uh, taking out one player on the Wildcats, which is fine. You know, allows them, allows them to buy, but that's okay. Wildcats are very sneaky, very patient, and very wise in what they do, using their comms, using sound to mislead the Goshen Warriors. Very, very well done. All right. Very much going into B. Ooh, coming to plank. Ooh, able to take out most of them. Oh, she was taken out. Oh, and the Springfield Wildcats were taken out at B. Goshen Warriors are defusing the spike to win the round. But the Springfield Wildcats are ahead 2 1. Is everyone's tech still working? Double check it, please. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Right there. Folks, we're in the we're in the round four right now. The Wildcats are attacking while the Goshen Warriors are defending. Looks like the Wildcats. There's a lot of people a day. Oh, and Sleepy was taken out, but was able to take it out. Good trade. Good trade. Caribou having a double kill with his team's help. 2v1. Good idea to heal. Good job. Unfortunately, with the heal. Oh, and Nas was taken out. Round goes to the Goshen Warriors. 2-2. Two, two. This game is turning out to be a good game, folks. Tied 2-2. Two, two. Right there. Let's make progress, my friend. Make progress. Hook out. Blinded. Well divided. Reloading. Hey. Wrong buddy. Enemy. My area's down. I have the 
Spike down B. Last player standing. I know exactly where you are. Team Ace. I hate waiting. Let's do this. One second, peep. I gotta visit the Astro to play some stars. Play some sentry. One enemy One remaining. Healing over here. And a good kill by the Wildcats. Taking that round, making it 3-3. Three, three. It was very touchy there with the Wildcats. They did not need to go hunting for the jet, but was able to get her without going further back and leaving the spike unwatchable. Un, uh, it's never a good thing in Valorant just to go hunting for the other players because sometimes the other players want you to go hunt for them so they can reach in and defuse the spike. Always good to hold your ground because the win is about planting the spike and letting it blow up. Right there. All right, sneaking up on B. Flashing. She was looking for any possibility of anybody coming out. Yeah. Lookout was able to uh, get someone, maybe hear somebody at the door. Not really sure. All right, Lookout is planting. Holding A. Good shot with Sleepy with the Jet. Duelist versus Duelist. Good job. Cuba taking out. Ooh, 1v1. 3v2 now. Don't want to go hunting too much. Looks like the round went goes to the Wildcats. The bomb is going to blow. Bombed went out and Sleepy and Lookout are able to hold their guns. Good round. Wildcats are four three. Remember, folks, the first team in every in every match. If once the team gets around thirteen, they win the whole game. Um, winning that. I'm sorry, winning that match. So first team, the 13 rounds, wins the match. Halfway through the entire match, the teams will swap places. For right now, the Springfield Wildcats are attacking, and the Goshen Warriors are defending. Okay. 
And sleepy with the final kill. Good play by the team. Yeah, I tried to plant the spike for extra cash, but they don't need it. Did a very good job. Now remember, like the pistol round, if any of the players do die on either team, the other players on, on the team will be able to buy their guns if need be. Since they are able to save the guns for the round. You want to play? Let's play. Flash out. We got this. Concealment. Obscuring vision. Trevor. Enemy remaining. All right, folks, we have a 5v1. Oh, and the Cypher is there trying to hold his ground. Trying to, and isn't able to do it. Flawless victory for the Wildcats. Wildcats are winning 7 3. Wildcats at first during the first couple rounds didn't seem to seem to have it together, seemed to be playing around with the Goshen Warriors, but seemed to be coordinating and cohesion, cohesion very well. Oh, here comes Omen's blind. Coming out, all the players are blind to them. Oh, here comes Breach's uh, earthquake. Concusses everybody. Oh, I hear Jet. Looks like the Wildcats are going to try to rotate. Oh, and Caribou was taken out. Remaining. Oh, 
Kill everyone, and our job gets a whole lot easier. Last round in the half. Last round to use our crits and abilities. Don't waste your firepower. There. 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 With you, we right are there. strong. Right there, pull cat. There, turn out. Let's go. That's Oh, 3v4. Oh, that's what's taking out. Oh. And a good sacrifice by Sleepy, their captain. Wildcats are 9 3. Switching sides. The Wildcats, one of their advantages is that they, uh, they're very calm when they shoot, they're very precise when they shoot. Guys, we're in halftime right now. The Springfield Wildcats are now the defenders, while the Goshen Warriors are the attackers. We'll have our stats right here Sleepy with 21 kills, Shu with 10, Caribou with 7, Nas with 6, Lookout with 5. And you can see the Goshen Warriors down below. So, folks, we're at halftime where we switch uh, sides, but same placement. So, Lookout is locked downing C, while Shu, uh, while Shu, Caribou, and Sleepy are holding out for A. Looks like Caribou is is in the middle of being B and C goofing off. And Nas is using his blind right there to see what happens. Remember, the first round is pistol round, folks. Oh, looks like Breach was the bait. They're going to back up and hopefully take him from the back of it, eh? Nice, good kill by Caribou. The fuse and the spike gives the round to the Wildcats, making it 10-3. We are three rounds from taking giving this game to the Wildcats. Now the reason, folks, why I said the pistol round is very important, like this round is, is that winning the pistol round, winning in general, any round gives you out money to buy more expensive guns, more more OP guns compared to the other team. So winning the pistol round gives the Springfield Wildcats the opportunity to buy uh, better, better guns than the Goshen Warriors. So we have Lookout going to C, going to go lock it down. We have Shu this time going to be at B. We have Sleepy and Nas going to be at A. Omen Smoke is over at C. Oh, and Shu able to take out two with his loss. 
Great job. Sleepy save and take out Cypher. Ooh! And the last go goes Nas. Good teamwork by the Wildcats. Drawing him out, getting the Brim, getting the Breach, getting the kill there from the other team. But Nas was able to swing out, take the rest of himself down. Good kill. Wildcats 11, Goshen Warriors 3. Yeah. Time for a field test. Alarm bot out. You want to play? Let's play. Thirty seconds left. Off your feet! Consume it! Flash out! Ten seconds left. Spike planted. Colorful shield! Hasten the sentry. There. Player standing. One enemy remaining. I diffuse things in my sleep. Match point, guys. It is 12-4 Wildcats. 
Sleeper was able to pull off the kill and defuse the spike in record timing down to the last couple seconds. Good job by Sleepy. Good job by the team. We got four strength for Wildcats at A. Caribou is holding out in between A and B just in case. Lookout is planting all his stuff at C just in case. You never know. Looks like Nas is looking now at, C at B. So we got the Goshen Warriors spraying the entire site with with a LMG. Not sure if he's working alone or by himself. Cypher is at A. And the win goes to the Wildcats. 34. Game one goes to the Wildcats. Congratulations. Hold tight, folks. We're on to game two. The Wildcats were able to take game one. We have two games. Stay tuned. Make sure you get comfortable. Get ready for game two against the Goshen Warriors versus Springfield Wildcats.
All right, folks, we're here for game two for Valorant for the Springfield Wildcats versus the Goshen Warriors. The Springfield Wildcats were able to take uh, game one in, uh, in Lotus, and now game two is in Bind. Ready to get the game started right here, folks. Remember, we are only playing two games. Springfield Wildcats won one, so they could either win with a 2-0 and or tie at 1-1. Judging by the last game, it looks like they have a possibility of winning, but we'll see what happens for game two. Here we go with the agent selection with our uh, Springfield Wildcats. We got Caribou, Sleepy, Nas, and Shu, and Lookout picking the characters. Remember, each agent is specific for the, the uh, player that's playing them and also for the map, so it's very strategic trying to figure out. Sleepy is going to play Rat Rays again. Caribou is going to be Brimstone, good with Smokes and Mollies. Select your agent. All right, folks, looks like we have our roster. We got Caribou as Brimstone, Sleepy as Raz, Nas as Sky, Shu as Viper, and Lookout as Cypher. On the Goshen Warrior side, we have Pixel as Omen. Corrupt as Euro, Yoroski as Phoenix, Cool as Sky, and Bug as Rays. Bug again is the duelist, but he's uh, there's two other duelists on the Goshen side, Euro and Phoenix. On the Springfield side, we only have one duelist, which is fine. Yep. Picking a character is only as good as the player. So we'll see how this first round goes. The Springfield Wildcats are defending while the Goshen Warriors are attacking. So we only have two sites this time, A and B. Looks like Sleepy, Caribou, and Shu are holding down A, while Lookout and Nas are holding down B. Viper put up her wall to uh, hold out A. We'll see if it holds uh, the Goshen Warriors back. Now this time Lookout is Cypher, so he doesn't have all those drones or turrets. He does have tripwires and a Lookout camera. We'll see if he does... Uh, a good job holding him out. Cushion Warriors are being very, very cautious using their walking ability. Shoot took out uh, Pixel, the Omen. Look out, took out uh, the Euro. Oh, but the Phoenix was able to take out Caribou. 4v3. Now where Lookout's uh, is where the spike is, They, the Wildcats can play for time. The timer at the very top is how much time the Goshen Warriors need to grab spike and t take it out. Sleepy be able to take out two players and not worry about it. The Springfield Wildcats took out all the Warriors, giving the first round to them. Good job, Springfield Wildcats. Yeah. 
This is a lot of space for them to walk up to that. Yeah, yeah, I need to go deeper. Together. Yeah, that'd be better. All right, folks, we're in the round two. Oh, Nas was taken out. Caribou is t is trying to take them out with a uh, with a judge. One enemy remaining. Spike, Spike down. is down at B. Trying to find the last person. It's four v one. Remember, the Wildcats can take out the other player, or they can play for time. Not sure if the Euro player is trying to uh, hold on to his gun, save for next round, or just trying to mislead the Wildcats. Oh, and Sleepy was able to take out the Euro. Good kill by Sleepy. So if Wildcats are ahead to zero, good job by the Wildcats. We'd like to take this opportunity to mention our sponsor, Champion City Video Games, it is a locally owned brick and mortar store located in Springfield, Ohio, specializing in video games, TCG card games, and sports cards. It is their mission to support all ages of gamers and the community they serve. Thank you so much, Champion City Video Games. All right, we're into the third round, folks. The key thing for the Wildcats is to find out where they're coming. Judging by Nas's location, they might be coming up to B. Oh, but Nas was able to take out Pixel Chain. J-Bug took out Lookout. Kirby took out J-Bug. It's back and forth here at B. Oh, Sleepy was taken out. 2v3 here, folks. Spike planted. Last player standing. She was taken out. It's all up to Caribou. Can Caribou take out the three players? Oh, and Kerber wasn't able to take out Euro. Round goes to the Goshen Warriors. It's now 2-1. Now, folks, talking to the captain of the Springfield Wildcats, Sleepy, who is Peter Hill, a senior here in Springfield. He gave a little tidbit of uh, the last game of, you know, a big question for Sleepy is what made the Wildcats give up three rounds in the very beginning, you know, tying it mostly mostly in the beginning six rounds. And the answer he gave me was, it's a time where you want to feel out the other team, want to feel out the strengths, their weaknesses, want to feel out how they do on bomb sites, what they do with their utility. And he said that after you knew that, his team knew exactly what to do. So good job to Sleepy and his team, and good luck during the second game. Joke's over! All right, look at it's going to try to go behind. Not sure what he's doing back in the def attacker spawn, but we'll figure it out. Oh, and Corrupt was taken totally by surprise with his teleport. Let's look out. Flawless. Flawless victory by the Springfield Wildcats, taking out all five Gojin Warriors. The round goes to the Wildcats. The injured dog bites hard. Oh, Careful. I, I, just, I saw the TV go by me, heard it. I heard it over it. I heard it over it. I heard it over it. Oh, very much so. 
Folks, remember we're in game two here uh, for the Wa Spring for Wildcats versus the Goshen Warriors in game four of the spring season for the Esports Ohio League. Spring for Wildcats are trying to hold their own for an undefeated season. They are now 2 and 0. We're into uh, game three right now. Who's next? Oh, and taken out by Euro. That was Euro's uh, ultimate ability. Spike down B. Well, it looks like one TP'd. So Kiru is going to run as fast as he can over to the bomb site. Looks like uh, the Goshen Warriors did plan at A. So the Stringford Wildcats are going to get as fast as they can over to A. They have to take out the three players and defuse the spike. Go ahead, kill by Sleepy. Caribou was taken out. Need to fuse the spike so you can get it. Do they have enough time to defuse? That's the real question. Can the Wildcats get it? And looks like they got it. At the last second, they were able to take out Euro and get the defuse. It's now 4 1 Wildcats. Enemy remaining. Spike down A. Spike spotted A. Round goes the Wildcats. 5-1 Wildcats. All right, folks, the win goes to the team who reaches 13 rounds. The Wildcats just need eight rounds to go. Hopefully the Goshen Warriors are able to get themselves together and uh, formulate a different strategy to take on the Wildcats. Viper Shoe is putting up his wall right now, hoping to secure A. We got three on B, Sleepy and Shoe on A. Here we go. Sleepy is going to lurk. Nas was able to take the final kill. Good teamwork by the Wildcats. If you see one of my creatures, it's a good thing, all right? All right. All right. We'll figure out what they do eventually. Hello. Let's 
Who's next? Launching smoke. I can wait for my battle because I don't like yours. I've got your trace. Oh, screen down. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. Very well played by the Wildcats. Able to take him out even when they pushed full on B and defusing the spike. Naz's ultimate is uh, completely ready. So is Sleepy's. And so is Lookout. So when I mean ultimate, it's uh, each agent has a specific ability, abilities that they have at the very bottom, four abilities. The rightmost ability is their ultimate, like kind of like a finisher ultimate that they can use on the other team. And it relates to each character. And the little dots underneath the symbol is how many kills or how many defusing of the spike or how many rounds they win. They have to fill it all up. So like I said, they got their ultimates. Let's see if uh Oh, here comes Sleepy with his. His is a bazooka. <laughs> Sleepy took himself out but was able to take out Phoenix. No worries. Oh, look out with the quick kill. Good pop. Looks like with Sky's ultimate ability, they were able to find him. That is a good combo with Sky's ability and Cypher's ability. Oh, sound like he teleported to A. Spike planted. That was a complete surprise taken by the Wildcats by Euro. Round goes to the Goshen Warriors. It is 7 2. Sight, bro. Took the Wildcats completely by surprise. That was nuts. Poor cat. Blinded. Here come the Goshen Warriors today. Caribou able to take out G-Bug. Oh, but was blinded. Yurzuko took out Nas. Joke's over. You're dead. Oh, Sleepy was taken by surprise. Spike planted. Spike Last is planted. Up the lookout. Oh, oh, good pop off by lookout, but corrupt was able to find lookout and take him out. Good double kill. All right, we're up to round eleven. Wildcats are holding their own seven three. Wildcats need to win with a 13-round uh, win streak in order to take this game. That goes there. Yes, this should break. This goes there. Oh, this is a nice spot. Looks like they're pushing for A. Oh! 
Caribou with the quick kill. As you heard from Ray's, she was about ready to use her ult, her bazooka on a Caribou, but Caribou was able to take away that ult very quickly and take the win for the round for the Wildcats. 8-3 Wildcats. Wildcats took him by surprise with a full push. Halftime, folks. Wildcats are ahead 9 3 for the halftime. Now, during halftime, both teams switched, so now the Wildcats are now the attackers with the bomb, choosing either A or B site, while the Goshen Warriors are defending. Here we go with our uh, KDA ratio. We got Sleepy with 21 kills, Caribou with 13, Lookout with 12, Shu with 6, and Nas with 4. The Goshen Warriors are right below them. Here we go into... What are we on? Round 13. Now, this round, folks, is the pistol round. So... All team members should have a pistol one way or another, either a frenzy or a generic pistol or even the scout. Here we go. Ooh, the Phoenix was able to take out Nas, but she was able to take him out. We got the Gushin Warriors. Going in. One enemy remaining. And the kill goes sleepy. Pistol round goes to the Spring for Wildcats. Spring for Wildcats are ahead 10 3. Three more rounds till the Wildcats take the game, folks. Here we go. Looks like Caribou has a spike. Viper. Not not sure if uh, Sleepy is leading the charge up B or some are going to A. Going to, it looks like they're going to A and Sleepy's going to lurk. Not quite sure what's going on. Maybe Sleepy's going to make some noise at B, draw them away from A. Could be anything. Viper on the map is trying to lay down her uh, her wall. Give ample opportunity. <laughs> Look out. Was looking for a kill right there. Ooh. Caribou took out Phoenix. Getting bomb. Giving it to Caribou. Sounds like they're teleported to A. Caribou is going on the hunt. Caribou was able to sacrifice himself, taking out bugs, but was able to wound Omen so that Nas can take him out. Good strategy by the Wildcats. Even though they do sacrifice themselves, they do put some damage down so that the other teammates are able to take him. Good strategy by the Wildcats. Not afraid to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Looks like the Wildcats are going straight for B. No hold bar, no splitting up. They are going straight for B. We got Sleepy going B long. Here. Looks like they're going in for a full push, but we're taken aback by the TP from the Euro. Bugs is there waiting for him. It's not 2v4. Over here. Last 
Careful, Jose. I'm taking a pixel. Can't. Good shootout by J-Bug. The round goes to the Goshen Warriors. It is 11-4. Still the Wildcats are in the lead. They need two rounds to take take the entire match. Winning 2-0. You know, that usually if we're in an unranked, they like to play around. They like to get it done. Get it done while they mess around. But Springfield Wildcats need to focus and need to take those two rounds to take the win. All right, we got the Wildcats slowly walking up to A with Viper's Wall. We got Brim's all trying to get them. Okay, we need a heal. Us <laughs> not willing to tempt fate. We have a bunch of people coming up teleport. Ooh, Nas was able to get taken out, but it's okay. Able to give some recognition to him. We got Omen and Euro. Oh, Caribou was taken out. And look how it's taken out. Oh, man. Is it enough time to defuse? Looks like it is. Round goes to the Goshen Warriors. It's now 11 5. You, you say something? <laughs> Sorry, ears still ringing. Good win by the Wildcats. Now it's able to take Velasco. Good strategy. Good teamwork and great communication by the Wildcats. Able to take the win on map on site A. Match point for the Wildcats. They are in the lead 12-5. They win this round. They win all games. It'll be a 2-0 victory for them. Let's go Wildcats. Looks like Sleepy is going to lurk up. Who's next? Spike. Ooh, Sleepy with the double kill, but wasn't able to take him. One enemy remaining. Can they take him out? Can they do it? 
Oh, oh, can they do it? And the win, the final shot goes, look out. The Springfield Wildcats take victory for the second game, 13-5 over the Goshen Warriors. The Springfield Wildcats won both games, making a 2-0 and victory against the Goshen Warriors. Wildcats are now undefeated, 3-0 and in the division. Folks, thank you for joining us here for the Springfield Wildcats eSports. Stay tuned for next week, next Thursday, while the Wildcats take on game four. Take care.